Now I've been uh, working on a few videos. I was also helping a, a friend to like create a video game. I'm still learning the basics. I've been um, heading to school to uh, learn more about job readiness and um, saving up some money. So uh, those are my excuses for the um, lack of content for this week. I apologize. But there is a particular topic that I feel like I need to address before I can make my video response to this one particular video this video about you know this one woman by the name of Hot Pink Sun. Now there's a drama that happened about uh, a month ago between Baz Fizz and Hot Pink Sun. Baz Fizz decides to make a video response to Hot Pink Sun when she went at the rally at you know this Roosh V Valley rally um, trying to learn self-defense which is ridiculous because you can't just learn self-defense within a day you have to like take courses you know you're not gonna become a fucking martial artist within a fucking day so that itself is just ridiculous and the fact that Rouge V you know wanted to legalize rape when he clearly couldn't even if he wanted to because it would have to uh, go through many many um, um, you know systems in order to even pass a law like that it needs to be approved by the president of the United States and what president is ever going to allow that so even if Roosh V wanted to legalize rape it's never gonna happen Unless there's like some sort of stupid purge, which then, yeah, it's never going to happen. The purge isn't going to happen either. But anyway, he commented, um, well, first he explained um, the entire situation, then responded to um, Hot Pink Sun, and you know, his videos are typically uh, simple responses you know he explains his points of views and that's it so then this happened hot pink son tried to contact him saying that he needs to remove the video because it's not transformative enough and I'm like what that's ridiculous. I mean, I wasn't there at the time, but that was that was going on. She's she's saying that her his video on him, I mean, on her, is not transformative enough. She doesn't explain on how it's not transformative enough. So she flagged him down, and about a week later, the video has been removed because. Um, she took, she knew that YouTube was, you know, going on a massive flagging, flagging stampede, you know, removing videos from left, from right, you know, the hashtag, where's the free use has been made, YouTube sort of responded as far as I'm aware, but I don't know, but you know, she took advantage of that because she knew that YouTube would probably take her side anyway. So, Bad Space got angry and, you know, having a strike on your channel is, you know, very damaging because you can't upload videos that longer than 15 minutes. Uh, you can't live stream a shit ton of of ridiculous punishments are given to you for one strike and that strike doesn't fade from six months unless you counteract it and you know sometimes it doesn't they'll 
double down with their stupidity and say, no, 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 you're going to have to keep that straight. You're going to learn from it. For six goddamn months. And, you know, it's even worse for the second strike because you can't do shit for two weeks. So, uh, imagine if YouTube, you know, uh, if she decided to flag another video, he won't be able to do shit for two goddamn weeks. So, about, you know, she'll, no, no, what was I, oh yeah, so YouTube took her side because where's the free use, and then a month later she has the nerve to make a video, um, and, and keep in mind, I wasn't subscribed to Hot Pink Sun, I was simply looking YouTube videos based, you know, around feminism, because it's easy to find a, a, a feminist video nowadays, you know. All you gotta do is just type out feminism and then filter out. You know, filter out today. Just scroll down. See what's happening. You know, most of the time you see this typical feminist who's like, you know, why I need feminism? And they'll repeat the exact same thing as Lacey Green. But I found this particular video. I'm like, okay, I'm curious. And I noticed in the description, she noticed Baz Fizz. And I decided to take a look. And I was disgusted and outraged. I showed it to Baz Fizz. And he shared the exact same emotion as I did. Disgust and outrage. Like, holy shit. And I commented on her video and explain to her that she doesn't understand what transformatism transformative is under the law and she claimed that I am some sort of special little snowflake who's the special little snowflake me who's trying to refute your point or the person who can't handle criticism let's face the facts you flagged her flagged his videos because you can't handle criticism it's not because it was transformative enough. It wasn't transformative enough. You don't understand how copyright works. It was under fair use, and yet you still have the balls to say it's not transformative enough. And what was her excuse? She doesn't go and she doesn't bother to explain on how it's not transformative enough. The only thing I ever gotten from her from that particular video is that. She was losing views because of him. And like, what? That's stupid. She was losing views even before she was, uh, that his video on Hot Pink Sun, whatever. Like, if you look at her videos, you know, all of it. You'd notice a steady decline in views. And the only video between... Um, about a span between a month or so... It's around the uh, span of 800 to 200 views. I mean, not 800... 800 to 2,000 views. On average. Which means... That she wasn't losing any views because of Bass Fish. She was losing views because she is not, you know, that her audience, you know, is leaving her. Sure, there's still a few loyal members here and there, but for the most part, you cannot deny that she is losing views because of what she's doing, not because of what Bass Fish is doing. And even if that was the case, so fucking what? That's not a good enough reason. You know, it's not like she's, you know, a famous billionaire or whatever, losing money. Pretty sure she has a fucking Patreon account. In fact, I need to check to see if she has a Patreon account. And 
what, what else is there to say? I mean, like, what she did, regardless of her, her, her excuse, is, you know, shitty and ridiculous. So, anyway, I gotta work on my video response to her. You know, I already made the script. And I'm going to do some voiceovers. Now, the thing about my video is that I'm not going to add some special effects. I'm going to go into um, sort of like Teal Deer's territory where I have to explain with extreme details on how she is wrong. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game out.